So, I hope you watched my previous video about uh, 14 things that I think I know now that I watched the official E3 Fallout 76 tra uh, trailer. But here are three things that occurred to me that might uh, make this new Fallout 76 really stink. Uh, and I hope I'm wrong because I'm a big Fallout fan and I hope that I'm really wrong about all these things. The first thing that um, comes to mind is that when we see when we see these scenes and these are like the brushed up beautifully polished scenes for the trailer these look like opening crawls for me these this doesn't look like gameplay particularly but when we look at the vault the graphics look exactly the same to me exactly the same and when we see people walking uh, later you know, it doesn't look that much more polished than uh, than it was uh, in Fallout 4. So all these scenes, and maybe there's a little bit more color. It's not as gray as the uh, Boston scene in Fallout 4, but um, the lighting effects, everything looks exactly the same to me, and that's, that's a shame. I wish there was a big leap of technology, maybe. Um, the other thing that um, is a little bit of a concern to me is that... Um, <clears throat> with the uh, rural setting of uh, West Virginia, do you remember that really bad um, Fallout DLC, uh, Fallout 3 DLC? It was called Point Lookout. Point Lookout took place south of the uh, Capital Wasteland uh, in uh, Virginia, and uh, they really relied on some old stereotypes of, like, country bumpkins and... Um, and stills and uh, just just things that are associated with country folk that's not, you know, it's like the city slicker versus country folk kind of um, prejudice. And I and I don't I don't like that. I know Fallout 4 had the Brotherhood of Steel versus the Institute. And they uh, talked about racism in that kind of way. But I got to tell you, that was a little more sophisticated. I hope they don't fall back on this uh rural versus uh, urban uh, thing and uh, even but even in Fallout 1 and 2 they had uh, vault dwellers calling uh, you as the player a tribal uh, because you were from the hinterlands and not from the sophisticated parts of civilization that had survived so I guess that's just part of the Fallout universe but it's one of my least favorite parts uh, feel free to disagree with me in the comments if you want and the last thing the third thing that I'm concerned about is that um, <clears throat> there's supposedly a rumor that we're going to do uh, PvP, uh, that other players are going to be able to fight other players. And uh, I'm afraid that if that happens, well, what I'm guessing is that it'll probably happen in designated areas. And I'm guessing there'll be like arenas, or uh, like it looked like they were trying to do that in Fallout 4 and it didn't happen. So it looks like maybe they'll do that in Fallout 76. And those arenas may be in uh, urban areas. But if that's the case, and it, you have to rely on experience in order to get good, if I'm not in the top echelon, or if I have to buy skills in order to be able to do PvP, I'll just roam the wasteland. I'll just roam the hinterlands and do side quests, which is pretty much what I do anyway. I mean, I've beaten uh, the main quests in most of these games, uh, or in the games and most of the DLCs, but uh, but yeah, if it comes to that, I'll just wander around and uh, do my own thing. Uh, because honestly, one of the great things about Fallout is the exploration of the of the of the scenery and the settings and the and the little side quests. And I don't want to be forced to um, to level up uh, when other people do. You know, at the rate that other people do. I mean. Games where you have to be the best the first week. It's just not my style. I like the leisurely pace of the Fallout series. So those are my thoughts about why Fallout 76 might stink. And if you have a counter-argument or you want to talk about anything, give me a comment. And if you want to hear more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.